I'm back. I do apologize for not uploading last week. I just got so busy and just so tired and no excuses, but yeah. Alright, so this will be the 24 week vlog update. Um, and now the baby is the size of an ear of a corn. So it's pretty long now, it's like 30 centimeters, I think. Um, best moments is going to the OB and hearing the baby's heartbeat because it has been like a full month where we haven't heard it and it just makes you really anxious for not hearing it I guess like you go for four weeks and then you don't hear anything and then all of a sudden you hear it again it just it's such a surreal moment it's such a yeah it's a weird it's a good sound to hear it just assures you that everything is all right um, cravings. I have been craving a lot of sweets and milk this week. I must admit that like I've been really bad with my diet. I've mostly been eating like sweets and very unhealthy stuff. So hopefully I get that back on track. Um, movement. I got heaps more. Last week the baby she kicked upwards right into my ribs and like lungs. And I was like in excru excruciating pain for hours and it just felt like I was winded and like nothing I did just made it feel bad. I had to stop working because it was that bad and it, it was just ridiculous. And she's been kicking upwards more now. I don't know. It's a good thing that she's not breech at the moment, but I'll take, I'll take the kicking into my bladder any day. Um... The OB appointment. I did have one this week and it went really well. I asked her because I've been having a lot of joint issues like back pain, hips especially and I was just like wondering if I could use deep heat because it's I googled it and it's like really it depends on each person but I really needed something to ease the pain so I was really happy that I could use it um, and she like she explained to us our ultrasound results and everything. So the baby's on the longer side, which is really good. So she's skinny and long, and which I would prefer rather than having a fat and small baby. <laughs> so it's all really going. It's going really well. The pregnancy is progressing as it should be. Um, weight gain, <laughs> again, 63.8 kilos. And... I swear I'm getting more freaked out about my weight, even though I shouldn't be because I'm like, it's all baby weight and all that, but I've never been this heavy before and it freaks me out. <laughs> it just, yeah. But according to like my pregnancy um, app thing, I am on track with my weight. So everything's as, should, as it should be. <laughs> um, symptoms. I do... If you can't already tell from my lack of, well, I don't wear make. I'm not wearing makeup, but my eye bags. I'm extremely tired. I'm just lacking sleep all the time because I've been waking up at random hours of the night and just won't be able to sleep. And yeah, um, I do have really sore back and hip pain to the point where I will just cry. In <laughs> A stiff position until it goes away it's just ridiculous I think it's just because I'm getting to that point where it's almost my third trimester I don't know well that's my logic <laughs> I'm also finding that I get irritated a lot easier now so like no matter what my partner does I just get like I just snap at him I don't know what's wrong <laughs> I just the emotions is going everywhere and like I feel so bad for him but he takes it on really well, so I'm lucky. <laughs> um, what else? Um, dreams as well. It's been very intense. Dreams. Uh, I've been getting a lot of nightmares, especially of like my little girl trying to kill me when she's a lot older. It's not the most pleasant dream because I dream in color, and it's just a very realistic um but they're really intense 
usually I like my logic was if it's a really cold room, I get more nightmares. But and since Melbourne is in winter at the moment, that's probably why I'm getting more nightmares. But they are intense dreams. Um, I've also gotten my acne back. I can't really see, but and I'm hiding under the beanie. But I've got a spot here, and it's just I thought it was clearing up, but it's probably due because of like hormones and the fact that I'm not eating well. So it's probably why. Um, also, I've been getting more sore boobs. Like I, f it feels like sometimes that um. Like, I can't touch them, I can't wear a bra, like, I don't want to wear a shirt sometimes because it's just like, what is happening? But they're still not bigger, which is upsetting and a little bit disappointing because I was hoping to get bigger boobs. We'll see. Um, what else? Oh, people have been saying things like, oh, you're glowing and... Like, I love, I love those kind of sayings if, when people say you're glowing and you look like really enjoying the pregnancy those are the kind of sayings I really like but someone like mentioned to me while I was at work that like you look too tiny to be 24 weeks pregnant or you look huge those are the kind of comments I not hate but it just it just gets to me it's like I already have weight issues well just self-wise because I've never been this heavy but as soon as someone says like you're huge, it already immediately gets me like oh, make me, makes me think like oh crap, <laughs> am I too big? It makes me freak out, and then it makes me more concentrated on weight, even though I shouldn't be, because it's a good thing, because I'm, I'm in a healthy range, and I'm supposed to be gaining at least, uh, twelve kilos I think, or sixteen, one of them. So it's, yeah, I don't know. I just find those comments a bit. Everyone seems to have an opinion now that I'm pregnant. It's just weird. Especially strangers. Oh. Speaking of work though, I am finding it a lot more hard to work since I'm a retail assistant. Um, especially staying on my feet for longer than th like three hours. I just get so exhausted. I'm starting to waddle. My back is, is on... It feels like a bus run over it. And yeah, working is just a lot harder now. <sighs> but yeah, but I'm making do. I think I can keep working up to like 36 maybe. Maybe 34. We'll see. Fingers crossed. Because I'm feeling good. It's just this swollen ankles that makes it a burden. <laughs> anyway, that's. I now will show you guys the bump. Alright, so this is the bump. Ugh, bear with me, I'm in a new location. So I had to upgrade to genie pants instead of leggings. But that is the bump now. It's getting huge. Is it from the side? I'm sitting down as well, so. And that's on the other side. And that's if I turn. And it really hurts if I tense, so I don't usually tense. Alright. Thanks for watching. As always, um, leave a comment below. If you, if you want, hit the like button. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye.